So this week has been a turd, and so was the week before that, and the week before that, and actually entire month of November, as well as October, and then also December. Hello, this is editing slash vlogging Miro, and I clearly wanted to say here September, not December. But now I'm wondering, did I curse my December? Um... <laughs> if I could rate them, I would just set fire to the last three months and call it a day. So this isn't exactly the video that I had planned for today, but here we are. I'm going to show you some Hoyas that I ordered last week from Betsy from her store, Hoya My Gosh. And I'm also going to show you some Hoyas that I didn't show you, but I mentioned them in the video, so I think it will be nice for you to see. Some of them have been here for a couple of weeks and you will see how much they have grown during that time. So I will tell you the story of what happened, but I will put timestamps so you can skip the story if you're not interested, I get it. No one wants to hear the problems, the troubles, you're here for the plans, so I will put a timestamp so you can just skip ahead to the haul. The reason you're seeing this video is, honestly, I wasn't feeling up to recording anything else or even recording at all. In my previous video, I mentioned to you how my computer died and this is the computer that I use for editing for, for YouTube. And basically what I did is I did a Hoya sale, very quick, very big Hoya sale. I sold about, I think, 70 cuttings and rooted plants. And then I also sold about 30 or 40 aeroids. And then I pulled some money from my Patreon, from my sponsorships, from my YouTube channel. And I still had to borrow some money from a friend to basically get a new computer so I can continue putting up videos, editing and whatnot. And I plan to fix my old one sometime after that because the repair would be potentially very expensive. So it just didn't make sense to fix it right away. And then I was gonna sell it, potentially upgrade the camera, get a new light because my lighting situation is uh, consistently terrible, which uh, is actually the reason why I'm recording this video for the second time. I recorded this video on Thursday when I got Betsy's Hoyas, when they still haven't been potted, so there was like an actual unboxing, but unfortunately, terrible lighting, uh, I could not figure it out, and I thought it maybe it will be fine. It isn't, <laughs> so here we are again. Back to the computer situation, and one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why you know, the previous and slash current period is a bit challenging, is that my new computer that I have had for two weeks died. <laughs> uh, caption this, man on the verge of a breakdown. So it died after two weeks, and actually it died as I was uploading the previous video, the last week's video in which I said I got a new computer. <laughs> Oh, uh, how fun. It died, and I think it is either a processor or memory issue. I haven't heard back from the repair center. I took it at the beginning of this week, and it seems that it is the only repair center that will service these computers in, in the country, so it might be a while. I will most likely get a replacement because with these types of issues, because it's a laptop, it's just not worth it for them to, to exchange the entire motherboard. It still might happen, but not to get into the details, I will most likely get a new computer. And it seems to me that it is the memory, the SSD memory issue, so all my files have or will be lost. I'm not as upset about it because I do have a backup from my old computer just before I actually bought the new one, but there is that period of two weeks where I don't have any backup because, you know, I got I just got a new computer and I continued working and I was making some Instagram reels, I was taking photos, I was making videos. So um, I actually have quite a bit of photos on that new computer videos. I think I have two unedited videos that will never see the light of day, very likely, because I just think that the files will not be saved. Before I took it in for a repair, I tried to transfer just a couple of Word files that were very important to me, and it couldn't even do that. It just kept restarting, restarting, restarting. And then on top of that, I was trying to record what the computer is doing so I could show it to the repair people, right? And then my phone started to restart and restart and restart. <laughs> and then, if that wasn't enough, I got a temporary replacement computer, which... Oh, <laughs> I'm not making it up. It also wasn't working well because they installed the uh, operating system incorrectly. 
so it had some issues logging in and it, you couldn't just log in so i had to redo the entire thing and i spent an entire day almost setting it up well not entire day but the entire afternoon <laughs> i said setting i spent setting it up and i also was trying to record that with my phone and then my phone got into this restarting cycle which you just couldn't you couldn't stop it and somehow it stopped it's been a pretty dirty poopy shitty you know all of the fecalious fecalous fecal words related and stuff um and you know i just decided to show you the hoes that i got and actually they did cheer me up they arrived on thursday and they look lovely so they did cheer me up and i also had a couple of hoes bloom in the last few days and that also cheered me up so you know things are things are that that's the most accurate things are so without further delays here are some new hoyas in a shitty week <laughs> title of the video i have hoyas from betsy first and they actually has spent a couple of days in my prop box i got them on thursday and i ordered two plans but because betsy is betsy she sent me four gift cuttings and you get to see them today the first plant that i got and this is the plant that i ordered is Hoya AH041 and you can just see what that looks like. I do have to be very careful because it is in pawn and it will absolutely fall out but it has lovely big leaf with undulate edge kind of. I don't know if this is supposed to always look like this or it's just on this one leaf but it has nice veining a nice splash. It's a really really lovely Hoya and Recently, I have been getting into these AH Hoya crosses. I actually do have one more to show you today that I didn't get from Betsy, but I just love them. I think they look very, very nice, and I wasn't so much into them in the past, and some of them I still don't like, but there are several that actually look similar to this one that I am obsessed with. The next Hoya is something that I didn't really like because I didn't really get it. I like the flower of this Hoya always, and Betsy was looking very hard for this Hoya. There is actually a very long story, um, which I will let her tell you how she struggled to find this plant. This is Hoya Hamiltoniorum. And you can just see, it's a very nice dark leaf that is pubescent. And there is some, I think, splashing on that leaf, which I'm not sure my camera is picking up. But there is some splashing on that leaf and the veins are kind of prominent and there is even a peduncle here which again it's very small so i don't know if we can see it there you go there is a peduncle there when i initially saw photos of this hoya on the internet i didn't really like it and when betsy got it i again didn't really like it but as it grew with her it became more and more beautiful and i wanted it more and more of course it's a big surprise to everyone, I think. She put it on her website last week. <laughs> I was so fast. And I actually think some other people wanted to get this Hoya. Um, uh, so sorry for that. Um, in, in, in a way that I'm actually not sorry. I'm glad that I have it. And it's very, very nice. The stem is also pubescent. The stem kind of reminds me of Areostemas, which I absolutely do not like, but I do like some of their qualities, which is the pubescent stem and the pubescent leaves. But I think this is not difficult to grow, and since it has a peduncle, I hope it will bloom here. It may not, because it's still very small, but I have had a good experience blooming very small cuttings in my Mars Hydro grow tents, which we will get later too, because I do have a couple of them that have been in the tents for um, two or three months, and you will see how much they grow. Now we move on to the gift hoes from Betsy, and I'm gonna start with the most beautiful one. This is Hoya Misty. Now, I I honestly have to tell you, I did not know about this Hoya until Betsy got it, and I still don't really know much about it. I don't think I even know, maybe she, Betsy knows what this is a cross of, but you can just see, this is a very, um, very light green colored Hoya with some prominent veining there on the leaves. But what I find interesting with this plant is uh, how, you know, the edge kind of curls. And I do think all of the leaves look like that. On this one, it's really kind of extreme there, if, again, the focus will allow. It is a very pretty Hoya, very interesting. 
I honestly cannot wait to see this grow because I'm interested to see what the leaves will look like in my conditions. Now, the next gift Hoya is something that I was really surprised to get. This is Hoya Affinity Lina Vergarae. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this Hoya has a beautiful flower and I think Hoya Lina Vergarae is actually considered to be quite uncommon. I don't know for the Affinity one, but the flowers are pretty similar, hence the affinity. And the leaves also look very, very nice. You can see they are dark green, and I'm not sure if... I think if I turn it a bit to the light, you can kind of see the veining there on the leaves. It's very, very beautiful Hoya. And I just really have started to adore Hoyas that have this type of leaf. Hoya species NS11159, which has been now published as Hoya Paradisa, also has kind of a similar leaf shape, so I really, really love them. I think they look very, very cute, and I know, it com there comes a point when you move on from the veins and the splash and you kind of start getting into these, and I think they look very nice and very delicate. Now, the next one is, I believe, a Hoya Verticillata, uh, but don't quote me on that because I'm not sure, but like the the leaf shape and just the general look, it's really verticillata to me. Now, this is one of the Hoyas from Miral collection. I think if you watch one of Betsy's videos, she explains about the Miral collection, which Edita from Hoya Passion purchased. And then, you know, Betsy has some Hoyas from that collection with those session numbers. Now, this is Hoya species Miral 151 from Koh Tarotau Island. But you can definitely see, like, this is giving uh, Verticillata vibes for sure. I really think this is some type of a Verticillata, which, honestly, I don't know how I feel about Hoya Verticillata, simply because I do think I have quite a few Verticillatas. I think I might have around 10, and none of them bloomed so far, and some of them are a couple of years old. I grew them all from cuttings, so none of them were also purchased as big plants, but some of them really grew to be big. One of my Verticillatas from AH Hoya, AH006, I think, is the number that it has. That grew a lot and has so many peduncles, but will it flower? I don't know. I don't think so. But there are also some other Verticillatas that I have, and again, I have not seen any of them bloom with me, so I don't really know how I feel about getting more Verticillatas, because they grow fast, they take up space, and yes, some of them are interesting, some of them are more interesting than others, but again, where are the flowers? Where are the flowers? Let me know if you have bloomed Verticillata from a cutting, how long it took you, and what Verticillata it is. I just want to know. I think we all need to know. The last Hoya that I got from Betsy as a gift, this is a cross with Hoya Memoria and Hoya IR26, which I do believe is Hoya Colina, and you can see it has, again, very beautiful leaves, very similar to Hoya Memoria, also splashy. I do have here Hoya Memoria. This is the plant that I grew from a cutting. It took some time to flower, actually. And this entire vine, well, when I showed this vine to you for the first time in the video, which you won't see <laughs> because the light, this entire vine was filled with flowers, but now one of the peduncles has lost the flowers, but you can just see those there, if, again, the camera will grace us with the focus. It does make quite a lot of mess. There is nectar, the flowers are um, numerous, and they fall off and they fall on your floor. So it's a, it's a bit of a messy Hoya that you can see there. And you can see how similar that cross is. So we have some splashy leaves there. I would say these on the cross that Betsy sent me are a bit larger. They're different shape. And they do, they do feel a bit thinner to me. It is a Hoya that I definitely like, and I think, you know, in a couple of years, this cutting can also look like this plant. I'm interested to see the flowers, what they look like, but yeah, I just like, I like Hoya Memoria. I think it makes a nice hanging plant, despite, you know, making a lot of mess. I show you some new Hoyas from Betsy. I'm gonna show you a couple of Hoyas that don't look so good. <laughs> they spent, I would say, 30-ish days in shipping. It was hot. It was summer and they were coming to me from Netherlands. But the issue is the NL Post, they received the package from the seller 
And then the package was just there in the post office in Netherlands for like three weeks. It didn't even move. Unfortunately, the Hoyas that arrived don't look great. They are taking a long time to root. I would say they arrived somewhere in September, even though they were sent in August. One of them is Hoyas Cortecchini 7950. I do have a clone of Hoyas Cortecchini that lives in my grow tent, which I will show some footage of it to you. I think this clone of Hoyas Cortecchini makes different, uh, obviously it makes different shaped leaves, but I think it's one of those clones that will get prominent veining, um, the really red veining when exposed to high light. So again, it doesn't look necessarily the best. It's okay. It lost a couple of leaves and it's struggling with the new growth, but it's coming. So I am interested to see what they will, what this will look like after it grows in my tent for a while. I actually just moved it from a prop box to my grow tent. But the reason why I got this Hoya is honestly because I was getting some other Hoyas from the same seller and I don't really buy only one Hoya, especially when they are not expensive because, you know, it doesn't make sense to spend more money on shipping than you spend on ordering the plant. So this was the reason why I got this one. It was very inexpensive, but I am happy to have it because I do like Hoya Scortecchini quite a lot. Now, the next one and the reason for that order is this. It, it doesn't look the best, does it? This is Hoya Insularis. And I got Hoya Insularis knowing that it most likely has root mealybugs because I have heard several people order from the same place and they got root mealybugs. But, you know, I was like, okay, you know what? I know how to deal with that. I'm just gonna cut it and propagate it and that's fine. And I got two because the price was very good. Usually you would pay 50, 60 euros for a cutting of Hoya Insularis and these were under 20 each. So together around 40, so I was getting a good deal or so I thought so. But unfortunately they took a long time to arrive. They lost the leaves and there was also very little to cut. Um, the way that they were rooted, you know, I just, um, the cut was very close to the, to the nodes, to the first pair of nodes, which actually looked the best because the rest of the vine kind of died back. So these are actually three cuttings. A couple of them are one node, one leaf cuttings, and one has kind of a vine that survived. It did make one new leaf here. And I actually repotted it the other day after I recorded the first video, which again, you're not seeing. It was in a different pot and I just wanted to check how the roots are doing. And I have to tell you, very, very little roots. So I think we're going to struggle with this one for a long time. I don't think it's recovering anytime soon. I wanted to get it because I love Hoyas that look like this. I absolutely love Hoya Retusa and this is giving Retusa vibes. And it also makes very beautiful orange flowers that are kind of uh, cute because they face, you know, inwards. And also it's like bigger. The leaves are bigger than Hoya Retusa. It has been my wishlist Hoya, but does she look the best? Not currently. We'll see if I can save it. I think that it's gonna be pretty tough, especially because, again, a couple of those cuttings are one note, one leaf. That's just not very promising. So that was kind of a contrast here in the video. That's what we were gonna call it because I only think I have one more plant that kind of looks, Ugh. why did you get it, Miro? And then the rest of them are beautiful. So, you know, we start with beautiful plants, we get to the er uh, section, and then we finish off with beautiful plants. I have a plan for everything except for things that matter. Okay, it's getting more and more humid with each second here, so. Enjoy. This is a Hoya that I wanted for a long time. It's not difficult to find, but it wasn't that cheap when I was looking for it. And I found this cutting by accident for very, very cheap, under 20 euros. But there is a reason for it, right? So it, it has a moment there and it has this white stuff on it. Now, this is, I suppose, from some treatment. First, let me tell you, this is Hoya Megalaster and I love Hoya Megalaster. I wanted it for a long time because of the leaves. I think they look exceptional, especially when they get large and beautiful. However, it's got some work to do. Flowers are also very pretty. I will try to insert a photo. So this cutting arrived to me, I would say a month ago. It hasn't done much. I do see that it's trying to grow. So let's hope that works out for it. I will find also a better photo of how, how this one is supposed to look like. The leaves also do have very nice veining on them. They're very nice dark green color. 
Now this one in a couple of months, we hope, is gonna look much better. I did try to get this white stuff off. I actually did clean up the leaves with alcohol, but just like with my hoys that I got from Romania, from a different place, this is just not possible. For whatever reason, I also washed those with hot water. I cleaned the leaves with alcohol. I really got in there, but for whatever reason, this white deposit comes back, which is very strange to me. So, I don't know. I think we just have to wait for new leaves to to, you know, grow and they will look much better. I don't think this is sulfur because I have experienced sulfur treatment. Luckily, right? I'm actually able to clean that off when I try, but this I'm trying to clean off and it doesn't go away. So who knows what kind of deposit it is, but this is going to turn into a beautiful Hoya, trust me, and I am happy to have it. So don't judge me for getting it. The rest of the Hoyas are looking really good. First of all, let me just show you a Carnosa. I know, I've turned into a Carnosa addict. From a Carnosa trasher to Carnosa addict. Now this is a Hoya that also spent, you know, 20 days in shipping, and I actually repotted it. Imagine that. I, I've been saying I need to repot it for a couple of weeks. So this is Hoya Carnosa Holiana. And as you can see, she's very, very small and very, very cute absolutely adorable. I'm gonna show you a close-up. You can see some of the leaves there look a bit yellowish. That's how it was sent and that's how it arrived. So I think that's maybe too much light. But that small leaf there that you can see, this tiny itsy bitsy leaf, look how small that is. That's a carnosa. That's a new leaf. This is a cultivar that comes from the United States. It is pretty difficult to find, I think here in Europe, but also in the United States. And I also don't think a lot of people have it even in Thailand, because I think this is a Hoya that grows very, very slow. It certainly looks like it. It's a dwarf form of outer variegated Hoya carnosa. It does have undulate leaves. You can see the ruffled leaves. It's absolutely adorable. And again, you are gonna struggle to find it. I was looking for it last year, interestingly, because I wasn't a Carnosa addict back then, and I couldn't find it, or it wasn't available for purchase. And when I saw it this year, I knew it's kind of a unique opportunity because I don't think people who have it even offer it for sale every year, because again, I don't think it grows fast enough. So it's a beautiful Hoya Carnosa, and I cannot wait for it to grow. I do have some photos, or I've seen some photos, how it looks like when it's bigger, and it is the most adorable thing. I don't expect it to bloom many times soon, I think, like, come on, lower the expectations. You obviously grow this for the tiny leaves. The next one that I got is from the same seller, and it's actually a gift. I'm I'm going to just show you quickly, because I actually have a, a plant like this. This is Hoya species VL9. It's Affinity Sigillatis, so you can see. Small baby. I'm gonna show you my Affinity Sigillatis, or Species VL9 from Camilla. So, it's not the fastest uh, Hoya. I think GPS 7240 or 7420, not quite sure. I showed that one to you recently. That one is a much faster clone of Hoya Sigillatis. This one, not super fast. However, you can see that my leaves are kind of smaller when we compare them. They're also darker. They have been growing in my Mars Hydro Grow Tent. Actually, the Hoya I just showed you, Hoya Carnosa Holiana, has also been growing in that grow tent for about a month. And they're doing really, really well. Now, Hoya species VL9 has not always grown in my Mars Hydro Grow Tent. It has actually grown in my cabinet under grow light, under TS-1000 Mars Hydro Grow Light, but I think the humidity in the cabinet was not enough for it. Also, there isn't much airflow, so when I moved it to the tent, it actually started to grow much faster. The same happened with my GPS 7240 or 7420, not sure they're on the accession number of the bat, and the same thing happened with some of the other plants that I've been struggling with, my Hoya Valiniana variegated just exploded in the grow tent. You can see this Hoya VL9 made a long vine here in the tent, and it's actually producing flower buds here on that peduncle, you can kind of see. So what I want to do is because, first of all, I love Hoya species VL9, I wanted to cut this vine here and make a bushier plant, but since I got this, I think I'm just going to jam it in there once this is done blooming, so you can kind of see. It's gonna, it's gonna look better when it's... <laughs> 
finished. Um, I'm, I don't want to disturb it now. I do want to see it in bloom because I've honestly waited for a year. I got it in May of 2021. So it took some time for it to bloom. And I think it was about the same size or maybe a bit smaller than this cutting. And it was unrooted. I also cut it back a bit. I think I sent a couple of cuttings to my friend uh, Carolina and also to my friend Alex in Switzerland. But I'm not really sure if those cuttings made it. For whatever reason, it didn't uh, travel so well. But anyways, not the fastest Affinity Sigillatis that you can get, but it's very, very pretty. I mean, you can just look at those leaves there. How beautiful are those? So cute. Those are the two Hoyas that I got, I would say mid-October, towards the end of October. And so far, they're doing well. Now, another Hoya that I got a month ago and you were going to be surprised. I think a lot of people have it, and for whatever reason, I don't know why I didn't have it until now. This is Hoya Colina. So I just got it as Hoya Colina, or actually my friend got it as Hoya Biacensis, but I told her that it is Hoya Colina. I don't have any more information on it, but you can see the original leaves are very nice. There is some splash on them. I think they look cute. And I was honestly, you know, it was cheap, so why not? And you can see the new leaf that it made in the tent is very nice and splashy. So I hope more leaves will come like this one. I think I saw this as Hoya Colina no ID somewhere, which doesn't make sense because it obviously has an ID or a very similar looking Hoya Colina at least. But it's very beautiful. I think there is also an all green version. So I definitely like the look of this one a whole lot more. You can see how adorable that splashy leaf is again i know this is not nothing special nothing exciting but you know i also just enjoy getting hoys that i don't have and that they look very beautiful no matter what their price or rarity status is i have two more hoys to show you that i ordered at the end of july but they arrived i think uh, beginning first week of august now first one is hoya ah041 and again, I told you, I'm into these AH Hoyas. These are from Hoya Passion. This arrived as one leaf, one note cutting. This is the original leaf. And just look how beautiful it is. It's nice. This isn't as dark as the new leaf, but it's a nice, healthy green with nice splashing. A bit of um, sun stress on the margin there. I think it looks very beautiful. For a comparison, you can see how different those two are. So this is AH049 from Betsy, and this is AH041. So they do look different. Don't tell me they're the same. The new leaf it made, oh my goodness, it is it is smaller because it was exposed to higher light, but look at that dark green. It's beautiful. I'm gonna try to up the light a bit. Maybe you can see a bit better. But that is just gorgeous, gorgeous green color. Very nice leaf, very shiny too. There is some splash there. I'm not sure you can see that well. And it did put out a long vine. You can see, oh, stop, stop es escaping me. So it did put out a long vine. And again, one leaf in these, I would say two months. So maybe not the fastest, but it's doing really, really well under the grow light, under the highlight and high humidity. And I think, you know, we're gonna get some new leaves very soon, which means also we need to trellis this very soon and most likely not repot it. It's actually reaching the end of this pot. So consider repotting this future Miro, consider it. You know, you're gonna thank me, but you can just see how gorgeous that is. And the last Hoya for this Hoya haul, I wanted this for such a long time and I'm so happy I have it. Also from Hoya Passion comes Hoya Rigidifolia and it arrived as a three leaf cutting, two note, three leaves, so that was the cutting. And we grew three more leaves and a long vine, you can see there, but I think more leaves are coming and it's just amazing. I love this Hoya so much. I, you know, it is a bit more of an expensive Hoya, but I do not regret it. I mean, it's just so unique. So 
you can see the leaves there. I actually told you about this Hoya, I think in my last year's video, when I made a Hoya wish list, which I think I should do another Hoya wish list video. So it has that main prominent vein, and then kind of a, on offset from the edge, there are two more veins, which I don't know how well you can see. Maybe it's um, easier to see from the back. So basically it looks like this. So you can see there is the main vein and then two more offset, but it's a beautiful, beautiful plant, very unique. I did expect the leaves to be a bit longer, to be honest with you. And I think maybe they will become longer with more light. This one is a bit damaged, but again, I think that's just some conditional thing, not nothing to worry about. You can see these a bit better, how beautiful they are. The leaves are very firm, just gorgeous texture to the leaf. Really, there's nothing like it, I think, um, among other Hoyas. Now, I don't really know how to grow this one. I don't think this will look good on a tower trellis. Currently now it's just hanging of the wall of my tent, but I think maybe a hoop will look nice. I'm just not really sure, but it's something that I'm so happy that I have. And there are a couple of clones that look a bit different. So don't be surprised if you see me get another one or two or five Hoya Rigodifolias, because honestly, I'll be looking for them. <laughs> that is all for today. Those are the Hoyas that I got recently and in the past couple of months. I hope that you enjoyed this haul and just thank you so much for watching even though you know it's kind of an unplanned video kind of you know maybe the energy was a bit down because of the situation that is going on but it is what it is. We got to still connect over the Hoyas and you got to see some new ones. Let me know if you have some of these plants, if you have any growing tips. I would really like to hear how many people have Hoya Carnosa Holiana and how fast does it grow. I really hope that for whatever reason, maybe mine decides to be semi-fast at least. And let me know which of these is your favorite. I think I have several. I think Hamiltoniorum, I think AH041, 049, Rigidifolia and Haliana are my favorites. I absolutely adore them. I think they're very, very beautiful and I hope they turn into very beautiful plants as well. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because my computer is broken and maybe if more people subscribe, it will magically fix itself. Be more delusional, be more delusional, be more delusional. I hope your week has been much, 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 much better than mine and I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you soon in the next video where where potentially maybe you know stuff will be normal it's okay to dream goodbye i would like to take some time to thank my patrons a massive shout out to my five dollar patrons my three anonymous patrons alex von siebenthal ann margaret moen and c betsy begonia carrie cynthia taylor danub daniels daria kaminska Thera, gina geisig go green tropical houseplant heather hoya heather jacques plant journey jessica chio kayla vavra kelso kristen sherwood lauren alexandra leplan de steph mandy milliken maris b marty miller melissa walker Nicole ferranti mir Kagrun Roos, Nicole Moreau, Nicole and Caleb of Schleif Tropicals, Nita Macy, PJ, Rachel Colette Conroy, Robin L. Jennings, Sherry Kumar, Stephanie H2O, Tanya, TJWO, Wendy, Wendy Foreman, and Zlokob Nipponi. Also, a big thank you to my $3 patrons Angelina Farnan, Ann Margaret, Brana Phillips, Kilong, Claudia L., Fluffy Blush Sheep, Jerry Scarden, Lisa Helling, Morgan Kennedy, Nella, Nerdy Kathy, Plan Druid, Plantolania, Ringlov, Sheila Mason Casper, and Tang Watanas Ria Cole. Also, a thank you to my $1 patrons Brandon Pacheco, Carrie, Jacinta, Lauren M, Lori Ansubramanium, Luzman Fernandez, Marissa, Neely Spicer, and Paula Plants. Thank you all so much for your incredible support. You don't even know how much it meant to me with the computer situation. So thank you. Thank you so much. It just was, you know, it just came at the right time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are enjoying your Hoyas and that they're growing well. Stay safe and I will see you soon in the next week's video.